quarter to a half an inch above the cover before... Uh, uh, I, admit, I lost you at boom, boom. Hey guys, it's real. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm hanging out with my friend Jet. What's happening, everyone? You guys, Jet Tila is a real deal chef. Pro chef over here. Restaurants, the whole business. He's going to help me test some kitchen gadgets today. Oh, is that what we're doing? I'm Super an everyday excited. baker and you're a pro chef. So we're going to put these gadgets to the test. All right, bring out the first gadget. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Yet. This goes into there and it goes... Oh, does this just make shave ice? Okay. Snow cones. It's a snow cone machine. Let me get snow cones. Hold on. I Yay. have never seen something like this. I've only seen the really like cheap plastic ones right. at like Target that are kind of like a kid's one. And I've seen those huge ones like in Hawaii. But I've never seen something like this. It's kind of like a mid-range I'm gonna, I'm one? not gonna lie. I thought this was a cheese grater. It's terrifying to me. This looks like a wood chipper, okay? I have seen a wood chipper. <laughs> Things go in there and then they shoot out. And I, it just it's scares true. me a little. Okay, it's on. Okay. Rosanna, pull that down a little bit and see what happens. I'm so scared. Put it I'm down. so scared. Put it I'm down. so scared. <laughs> Do you just push? Yeah, and I think we will we'll pack it from there. I think it'll make snow. Oh no, I'm going too slow and it's just melting. Okay. Oh my god. Maybe I'll get it. There we go. <laughs> Turn it off. You want? Should we pack it and go for it? Are you okay? Are it's you okay? just so like messy and crazy. Here. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's try it. Mm -hmm. It's a little country, but you know what? It's not bad. Row for thirty-four dollars. What do you That's think about that? That's amazing. Bella? All right, Jet. Do you think that this is a thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's both put our thumbs in three, two, two one. Ah, yes! thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Woo! I totally endorse this. Mm, mm -hmm. Perfect, bring on the next gadget. The next gadget is a bao bun maker. Mm. They call it a steamed stuffed bun mold. I didn't know you read Chinese. Yeah, I'm really good at this, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I saw you like reading this Chinese and going, oh my God, you do read Chinese, because that's exactly what it says, bao bun maker in Chinese. Really? No, I don't read oh, Chinese. No. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Do like it, a ready? claw. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> it looks like in the picture you make yeah. the bow yourself. So should we attempt to do what the photo says? So photo one is you got to actually form the dough. You want to be a, a dumpling master? Yeah. We're going to turn and roll. OK. OK. Then what do we do? So let's make the pocket. All right, so we've got the pocket. You know what I'm trying to figure out, Ro? Hmm. Why is this machine not doing any of this for me? I feel like I've already made this because it says pinch like this and then put it in. I'm like, but it's already a bow. It's drum roll time. So okay. let's see if you that ready? forms it. Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna pull hard too. Get that shape. Get that shape. Go, go, go. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, put it right there. Do we Actually like that? Actually, does make it look a little prettier. <laughs> Kinda. It's very aggressive. I'm gonna do. It's kind of a nice ribbed look. I'm gonna go a little softer. Okay. Okay. And, and then I'm you're gonna just I'm gonna, gonna be put prettier. that. No, I don't think so. I think you're gonna be prettier. So, Ro, what do you, we think about this? Bow maker gadget. Well, usually when I make dumplings and like these meat stuffed yummies, I just pinch it like you saw before. Yeah. Jet, yours looks beautiful and mine <laughs> looks, it's just a new kind of design. That's it. I like gadgets that save me time and make things easier. I feel like this makes them a little prettier, but I don't know if it's saving that much time. Okay, <clears throat> so here, this is after they've baked when we've used this and look, they lose all the fun details. Yeah. I just used the most simple basic recipe that I've always used, and this is how it turned out. This didn't help us make the bow. No. It did kind of put that final little beauty twist on it. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? No, because then when you steam them, look what happens. Yeah, all right. You lose the detail. How about a thumbs in three, two, one? <laughs> oh, I'm kind of in the middle. <laughs> okay, next gadget. All right, this let's is, go. This is not. Mm, all right, Jet, you ready for a competition? No. We are going to put this thing to the test. Now, this says it's an egg beater and it can make like a meringue. It says no noise, power free, and it don't splatter. Okay, okay. so let's do this. So I'm gonna use this, and then how about you do it manually, and it will be man versus the machine, and we're just gonna see if this thing is even worth it. So you've got a, I'm afraid to put like, I don't know where. So, okay, oh, look at that. Where'd this yeah. fuss come from? Oh, that's free. Is that hair? <laughs> I 
No, it's not. Are you sure this is not white hair? Oh my gosh, somebody's <laughs> Nana was packing I know. this and her hair got stuck in I'm here. I'm sorry oh we God. took your hair with us. You want to show us like emotion? See how much okay. work it's doing here. You, you can't... Oh, well, this okay, is... Okay, there you go. Wait, All right. okay. <laughs> No noise, I oh. hear that. This should say like quiet, but no noise. Jet, tell me if this is, is no noise. Oh, you killed my eardrum. So, so far not loving this thing? No, I'm not loving it so far, but let's put it to the test. Wait, hold on. oh, I gotta open, okay. So another thing is you need, you need your. <laughs> you... So we're gonna race to see who can make meringue. Okay, it's... egg whites okay. going in. We're and gonna then... mix for a little bit and then I'm gonna start adding my sugar. Ready, set. Meringue! I think you're gonna kick my butt today, but we're both gonna be exhausted. <laughs> I think that takes more effort. Bro, I think you're putting your entire being into cranking that I am. when I'm just using one hand. Because you have to stabilize it. Yeah. Have to so much pressure down, otherwise it goes like this. I'm running kind of gas up. My arm is so tired. How thick does meringue need to be, first of all? Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. That's like a decent little ribbon peak right there. <laughs> I would rather do Jet's version with just a whisk and a bowl, then you're just using the muscles to whip and you're not having to press down and whip. This is what I think about this not machine. Not a fan. You know what? If they made a bunch of tweaks to this, I think I'd like it. Like the weight of it, not a plastic, like something really chunky. And if the handle was always connected, yeah. then we could talk. As is, no. Boom. Boom. All right, um, here's the next gadget. This is called a ring pull helper. So I was I, born with a ring pull helper. Yes, our fingers. I actually have two ring pull helpers. Yeah, what they, they mean work. by this is like the cans that have this little ring and you know, you pull them to open like any soda can. Right, exactly. Right, so yeah. apparently this helps you do that. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, why would you need to use this? You could just use it, but what if you just get your nails done. Oh. I keep my nails short because I'm really active, but if you had long, beautiful princess nails and you couldn't open a can. Should I try it? Yeah. So I've hooked it under the tab. Okay. Okay, so now maybe I'm going to come the opposite way. Oh, there way. you go. All right. That did it this way and it worked great. So I'm Let's... gonna try it this way and see if it does me anything. Okay, hold on. Okay, I wouldn't do that. I, w I would do it his way. Right? Oh, that's actually wonderful. Okay, ladies or gentlemen, <laughs> if you have long, beautiful fingernails and you don't want to ruin them, get yourself one of these things. I was not expecting to like this. I, I thought was, it was kind of weird. I thought we were gonna laugh at this thing for about 30 seconds, but this thing worked phenomenally. Yeah. It's light, it's... <laughs> look at this, two thumbs up. Oh my gosh, I look like Captain Hook. I would say it's awesome. Awesome. You could do a lot of things with this hooky hand. What else this could you do? Great. Could you scratch my back? I mean, oh, yeah, right there. Look, oh, back yeah, scratches. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could tow a truck or something. Just hook it. <laughs> tow a truck. <laughs> Maybe not a truck. Can you grab Maybe me that up. chair over there? Yeah, here. Hook it. And just pull it. Oh, oh. What's our out? That was perfect. Yeah. Thumbs up. I'm gonna give a thumbs up. Bring out the next gadget. We're ready for it. Bring it out. 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 Okay, I've never used one of these. These may have been your great, great, great grandmother's coffee makers. It's like an ancient coffee maker machine. It doesn't use any electricity. Wow. We need this oh. special kind of alcohol because there's like an oil lamp in there or something. I mean, I don't know how this works. Bro, I do have an idea of how things like this work. So oh, thank there goodness. should be a boiler and I oh. think you've got the yes. alcohol to propel the boiler. The boiler's gonna get water to 212. I think it's gonna create a little vacuum situation. Uh, let's see. Whoa, bro, look at that. Ooh, it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? So brass construction, the glass is actually glass. Um, this is really kind of fine craftsmanship. Construction one, fill Go. about 60% the burner glass bottle with the alcohol. Okay. Half an inch above the cover before uh, um, I, I lost you, but boom. I'm going to uh, install the wick. 40 gram of medium fine coffee grounds to the glass cup. Then secure the filter cloth to the filter sharp, sh sharp, shapper, sh on the siphon pipette and place it 
in the glass cup. Oh my god, I get it. I get it. You do? Oh, okay. I get it. Oh, no. oh, this is a pipette. Okay. So we gotta secure it by. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there, perfect. Perfect. Hang this guy on the hook. There we go. There, yeah, yeah. The weight, it's going down. Like, oh. like one of those weighted, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, let's do it. I feel like this could be really cool if there's no electricity or like. A fancy night. But for like efficiency, everyday coffee, probably not. Because I don't know how long this little heat lamp is gonna take to warm all this up and then make the science happen. You know, and I don't know if I have an hour to wait for my coffee in the morning. You know, I'd like it in 10 minutes. Don't you think we should kind of set it aside and go on to the next gadget? Yeah, we've been sitting here for at least five minutes and nothing's happened. So I'm just gonna set it right over here so we can all watch it and then poop. Uh oh, oh I look, see it. It's bubbling water out of the pipette. <laughs> Our next gadget looks to be a tomato crusher. Enjoy delicious tomato puree with fresh garden or store-bought tomatoes. Skins and seeds are separately ejected while smooth puree is collected in the catching tray. The stainless steel strainer blade is industrial strength quality material. I like the color. It's red like a tomato, but it's made out of plastic which always makes me a little concerned with some gadgets. And then it's got this kind of like suction thing at the bottom, but like, how do you get it to- Do you to hear something? Do you hear something? You're right. Oh, oh, oh. It's steaming. Chad, 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 yeah. it's steaming. Oh, Ooh, look oh, at that extraction. Oh, oh, oh. The chamber's empty. Oh, it automatically the, closes. The closes when it gets hot. That's so smart. That is great for right, California. That's cool. But now, what's vacuum it, is going back. Look, it's sucking back and then retilting. The coffee's probably ready. It's really hot. So I'm going to give it just a few minutes to just calm down a little bit so we don't burn our tongues. I'm good with that. And we're going to test this and then we'll have a little cup of coffee. They said you put the whole tomato in. So I'm just going to. Do you just do one at a time? I'm going to try okay, it. Okay, crank it, crank it. Crank it. Or oh, turn <laughs> The noises. All right, let's put another one in there. Here, another one. Oh, here's a plunger. Oh, okay, there we go. Bro, you better stand back. I got a shield. This goes on your neck like a dog collar. Oh, I and went then you the just wrong do this. So this isn't correct? You can do that. Let's try it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm ready. Here okay, we go. I'm going to push you Turning, crank. turning, turning. Is that working? So it's kind of making tomato juice. I feel like it makes tomato juice really well. Okay, we'll try it. Little. So the tomato puree is pretty decent. There's a little particulate. It's kind of smooth, but. If this is exactly what you needed, I think it works, but it can only do this one thing. I don't know if it's worth it. The Italian in me is like, eh, we could do better. I need some coffee. Same, let's do that. Do, do go this the other way? way, go the other way. Or is it the other way? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Maybe perhaps I didn't put enough water in here. No, no, you did. Are it you only sure? literally makes one cup at a time. It's like 20 <laughs> minutes for one cup of coffee. Oh my gosh. Prepared to be amazed. Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Woo! We What's have that? What's that? Four whole ounces of coffee in 40 minutes. Cheers. Mmm. It's a pretty good. Good. A cup of coffee. Nice it's and actually clean, not really bitter. good. Yeah. It's beautiful. I think it's so cool. I just want more. It worked. I'll give it a thumbs up. It worked. Great coffee. It just wasn't enough coffee. So I'm split. But jet 200 years ago, this would have been two thumbs up. Woo! Everybody would Big just time. be lining up for the coffee. <laughs> 200 years ago, yay. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next gadget. You know what's the worst thing ever, Jen? What, Ro? Unsharpened carrots. The world has created a gadget for, for just this thing. It looks like a huge pencil sharpener. We're gonna give it a go. There's a peeler blade. So I'm gonna, oh. The peeler, from a chef's perspective. Yeah, what do you feel? The grip is very ergonomic. It's okay. a very natural motion. It's very efficient. So here we go, look, I peeled, and now I'm gonna make ribbons, look. Carrot ribbons. Look at that. Ooh, they're beautiful. Aren't they nice? Ribbon check. I have ribboned and I peeled. Ro, you get to sharpen a carrot. Okay. Something I never thought I'd say right? I've in never, my life. I've peeled vegetables before. Right. I've curled little fruit for fancy drinks. Right. But I've never sharpened a vegetable. Mm, I see. This is how you 
doing? Show me how to sharpen the vegetable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. Very stabby. <laughs> okay, I kind of love Doesn't that. Doesn't work great. Right? That's actually wonderful. As a peeler, I... this is epic. Yeah. As a ribboner, it is epic. I don't understand why you need to sharpen. So I will say, if you had to model a carrot, yeah. look how pretty this one is. I do like that. As a nostalgic play, mm -hmm. I think it's really a fun thing. And as a peeler, it's excellent. I like that it's multifunctional. Mm -hmm. I like that it actually works. The blade is great. I don't get the sharpening thing, but that's kind of cool. Jet, what? you won't believe this, but this morning, I feel like my phone was listening to me and Instagram recommended me one like this, but like four times as big. No way. So should I get it? Should I buy yes! it? We should try it. We could find crazy uses for it. It must happen. Let's do this. I'm gonna give it uh. a thumbs up. Bring on the next gadget. This next gadget is a pepper corer and Jet, you are a super fancy chef. I want your expert opinion on this. It's a flexible kind of blade. It's serrated, so I guess you can cut with it. So without using a knife. Okay. I'm gonna oh jeez. Right. Oh wait, I like it because it is a corkscrew. Okay. Kind of situation, but as you'd already could tell, I've popped my, I've broken the pepper open. Right. right? Okay. So on the sweet pepper, man, I don't think it's really working. Let's take it to another kind of a sweet pepper, but the size of a red jalapeno. Let's get in there and. Oh, yeah, uh, I feel like it needs yeah. to be smaller. I agree, I agree. I popped the uh, the stem out. Now I'm pulling the seeds out. You know what? It's working okay, but it's definitely breaking up. All right, I'm gonna give that a shot. No, this does not work. <laughs> every time I try to get in to start the coring, I'm tearing the pepper. I just noticed, I think all this would just be way smaller. Yeah. I mean, because it, it's just destroying it. Because I like to make those little, uh, like, jalapeno oh. pop. Oh. Oh, oh I'm oh. so sorry, Jack. Okay. I'm, I'm messing I thought around. I just blinded right. this pro chef. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look what well, you did. Right, I you, mean, you pulled the core out pretty perfectly. I did, but it destroyed yeah. it. This looks awful. I don't like this machine. No, me I, neither. I don't like to say negative things, but I can't find the practical use. It didn't really work that but well. I think what's good is to be honest. We're not being yeah. negative, we're being honest. Sorry, yes. <laughs> Bring on the next one. All right, last but not least gadget. Now this is a foodie gadget for after we're done eating. Mm. You can travel with it, has this little hoop on the top. You can put it on your keychain. This is a travel toothpick. So I heard you're supposed to unscrew the top. Okay, here we go. And then you pull out a toothpick. Whoa. Uh, whoa. This, you know what this is, Ro? This is a travel shiv. It really is. <laughs> okay, I feel really weird because all the toothpicks I've used are wood. Yes. I've never used metal. I feel like I'm at the dentist. This is also like, like weapons grade. Like I'm not making jokes. It's like, really sharp. And putting metal in your mouth, like that whole tinny. I know, it makes me feel uh, like I'm at the dentist in the uh, dentist chair. This is legit like dangerous. You could hurt someone. Right. I do like this though. It's cool. For kind of the cool factor. I love the novelty of for it. This I can't decide if it's a win or a fail. I will say it works, but I'm gonna let you guys decide. This is your gadget to decide, is this a win or a fail? Would you use this or would you not? Yeah, let us know in the comments let below. Let us know. All right, that does it for all the kitchen gadgets that we had to test today. A big thank you to Jet T Love for helping me test everything. Thanks, this Robbie. was amazing. Thanks for coming over. And everyone, go check out Jet's channel. I'm gonna be putting all of his links down below. He's making a lot of really fun content. Jet, did you have a favorite gadget today? Yeah, my favorite and least favorite were all the same, the coffee maker. <laughs> and how about you, Ro? I yours? love that coffee maker. I think for the price yeah. and functionality, that shave ice machine. Yes, yeah. yes. Kids parties, adult parties, adult shaved ice. And then do your Parmesan cheese after. Yeah. So many things we can shred. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here, or, and then Jet, you say, yeah. or up here. Or up here. Perfect. Or there. Over there. Or there. Or maybe over here. See you later, guys. <laughs>